好，嘿，嘿，嘿，嘿，好，开包了，谁？哇，开包了，嘛，嗨 ，Sandy， 嗨 ，Steve，Hello， my name is Kirk。Welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal Channel, and today we are going to check out a band called Fantaros. Who? Fantaros. Who? It's not that I them. It's like Fanta, I think. You know, I don't know. Fantaros. It's not Fantamos. It's not Fan Mike Patton's band Fanta Fantamas, is it? I don't know. Fantamos, that, Fantaros. That's what I think. Is it gone eminent? I don't know. Maybe this could be Mike Patton's band. Could right? be Mike Patton. We could be doing that. This could be high. Uh, it sounds called I Hate You. Probably isn't. Uh, okay, let's no, see. No, that was just me. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, It's not that, yeah. It, I think it's called Fantaros, this band. All right. Though. Yeah, it's probably not the Mike Patton Dave Lombardos. I, I just read it in... I, I've obviously done a lot of research into this. Yeah. Uh, and you, you can tell it's the end of the session as well, can't you? Oh, I can tell man. we've been doing this for hours. Right, let's check it out and see what the song is and what it's all about. Fuck knows. Let's do it. I hate you. I hold you. Same difference. <laughs> I hate you while I hold you. <laughs> That's a rehearsal studio. Dan. <laughs> Dan from Telly Squares on drums. First cry. Not expecting that. Naked, you, you laid in my arms. Your Chris Reed. That's how low he is. Your eyes. Well, the norm for Christmas. <laughs> this has got folk elements already. He said that like with some contempt. I don't know. Look, kind of volume of heart. That's good. beautiful. Isn't the sparkle this, of that. Yeah, so we're gonna have this is gonna be folk goo. I was thinking. I mean, he clearly had like a death battle voice in the end. The, the bass is clear in the next. Bring it! I don't think it's ever going to go away. Okay, yeah, they brought the drums. So that Carly Tilton was like that. That's obviously not, but there's a lot of lookalikes in the city. It's Heisenberg from fucking Breaking Bad, I think. <laughs> That's Dan from Scarlet Angel. My guess is, you said Greek, but I would have gone for like, from the vibe, I would have said Norwegian. Yeah, I don't think they're Greek, it's a Greek word, I was saying. It feels like Norwegian. They're definitely not Greek, look at both. Now this again could give us a wrong impression of the band, because this could be their chill song on the other one, yeah. like Ellie Bates. Uh, elevated, yeah, that works. Do wear well, songs like this, but they have a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might even tell us how to pronounce it. Okay, okay. <laughs> that is. The Nephilos band. Gothic folk metal from Germany. That was a well off. It's a gothic folk. Go to the phone in 1999 when Ben Richter recorded a demo under his moniker. Okay. By himself.
must have been signed to Napalm Records at some point in time. I'm sure they were. Nice to hear the guitar not overpowering everything in the solo. Nice balancing. I reckon that they must have been. So you do the lot between tracks for a blue man to do. Yeah. Not extravagant. It's not that hard. You've got to go with my style, you know. I love the fact they've got hearts and violins in the back and they're doing hats and hats and hats and stuff. Does that make sense? I mean, you do bring an extra dimension, it makes sense. Yeah. But you can, yeah, you, if you're a cello player, if you're playing the harp and then the next song comes in, it's brutal definitely. Yeah. They're like, well, where's my part? Yeah, so you have you to pause the way yeah. and yeah. slow it down. Yeah. Or just get them on guitar. Make sure you're multi instrumentalist. Maybe. Ben Richter. <laughs> Should you want me to clarify we got everything wrong in the intro? Oh, I can clarify that five double on that one. But the harpist is a guest. Oh, okay. Guest. okay that and they've got session sense. drama as well. Oh, Dan, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> By Bob Thana Media. Thanateros, I think that is, isn't it? Thanateros. Pronunciation, yeah. Okay, there we go, that was Fanateros, and I hold you, so I got the name wrong and the song title <laughs> wrong. So we're doing well, we're doing well today. Uh, so German folk metal. German gothic folk gothic metal, folk I believe. Metal. Uh, so it's hard to sort of clarify with that particular song whether this is a true reflection of what the rest of the stuff sounds like, because obviously there's very little in the way of metal elements, so that's just a folk song. Um, and I think as I mentioned to you during it, I was like, if that, it's a nice song, but if it was a whole album like mm. this, I would just tune out completely. Would that be because so, of boredom? Oh, predictability. Probably. Yeah, it's a little bit, but when you get this repetitive line of, I'll hold you and I'll hold Sounds you. Sounds like the Pogues. I'll hold you. <laughs> I hold, I hold, I hold. <laughs> I don't know, I keep, no. You start getting down this sort of, it's just this droning vocal bit which is nice for a little bit but after a while you're kind of like okay and then with the channels like in the background it's going on for a bit too long for me it it makes a nice break in an album but i i was just waiting for something more to kick in don't know about you andy but that's how i was feeling with it yeah, yeah i'd hope that this is you know one of those we talked about it early in the day sort of mid-album sort of interlude tracks rather than an indication of what they they yeah. produce and, and play because I, I think I'd struggle with a whole album like this. And I'm glad this particular song, as nice as it started, actually sort of built and sort of got a little bit more, a few more layers throughout, rather than just being, you know, very limited in sort of the output of the music. Um, before Kurt found out there from Germany, I, 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 my thoughts were that it's, it's, it's Till Lindemann of Ramstein singing in English. That, that's, that was my connection. Oh, okay. I don't know if either of you thought that, but I thought that sort of, combination of all those instruments worked really well. I mean, the standout for me was the violin. You know, it was very My Dying Bride violin. Not not sort of overcomplicated, but just sort of sorrowful, yeah. single single note. They, they draw the bow, don't they, across the string, draw out the note, and they move on to another one. You know, that, I love that style of playing. I love it when- Just adding a layer of texture yeah. to the song, yeah. So it wasn't, wasn't like the, the rhythm or the lead, but it just, as you say, a layer of texture, and I really like that. I mean, the lead melody as well was really, really good. Wasn't, as you said, they two in your face and, you know, taking over, but it was a nice track. It's given me enough to sort of look into them further, but I don't think I would follow them if it's, if this is the whole, if this is the extent of their output, mm. because there wasn't much in the way of metal there. There wasn't enough sort of, emotion and power and aggression but it was you know it's one of those what i would think would be a sort of mid album interlude track just to give you a break from yeah. from you know the normal songs that the band produce but um we might know until we check them out further no, but, but it, it comes almost like a this is a song it becomes a streaming playlist rather than a download an album yeah i mean the the look of the logo and the, the fact they're sort of in a small you know room 
with, with, with the harp and, and, a, and a violinist who thought, is there perhaps an Irish element to this? You know, sort of traditional Irish music, but mm. far from it. But yeah, mm. I quite enjoyed that. Kirk. The harp is a luscious instrument and it's underused, isn't it, in rock and metal? You know it is because, you know, you can hear the cascading notes sail through the scales. No, sailing. Still, that's not a big sailing. Sailing. Um, it's not a big sailing game. through the skirts. Um so musically the guitar solo stood out for me and that kind of tells you a lot I lost interest two minutes in it was quite repetitive the vocal lines were fine they're very clear they're the allocution the violin yeah that adds you right a sorrowful texture there's, an, there's a lot of space in this music a lot of gaps the drums came in after a minute and yeah. I think we wanted a bit more Excitement, effervescence, and more aggression. Something. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. And then did it? back down again. It never. Yeah. It never had that peak. It, it grew a little bit. Yeah. Is it? I mean, it's a harsh word, but is this? Is it inconsequential? That song or forgettable? I suppose is. Well, more, more people will identify it. Probably is, but I'm not going to judge them by one song. No, I would. I would give a, I would listen to their opinion. album. And uh, stay. I think it's the first album since 2022. They've been going since 1999. Ben Richter is the uh, main song, I just love doing okay. the pronunciation. Uh, but yeah, it's, I, I really don't have much to say about it. It, it becomes an indifferent song again, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, We've had a couple does. of those where we're just like... But I feel we're not, we're not doing our job, though, of reviewing it, if we're not saying anything about it. Okay, the bass, I liked that at the beginning. It was just very easy, just following the gods do, do, you know, even, things here's without a good Here's a good but, example of how we're feeling about it. When you look at the guitarist and look at the bass player, they looked bored playing yeah. it in the video. It weren't like they were going, oh yeah, this is emotional. They were like, boom, boom. I mean, he was even boom. sat down for God's sake, wasn't he? They kind of looked him. bored playing. So if they look bored playing it and it's their fucking music, what the <laughs> hell are we meant to be fucking yeah. doing? True. That's a problem. Is were there actually any gothic moments in that? No, that was that was just That was just folk, folk music, wasn't it? it was with just, with that electric one. guitar. That was almost doomy folk. Yeah. So it felt very somber in that element. Yeah, pensive. I don't know, let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed our video today, please do like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.